So if you're someone who's getting your puppy soon and you're probably thinking I'm going to get my puppy and everything's going to be so amazing and he's going to have toys to chew on, he's going to have his food, he's going to be a super well behaved puppy, then listen, we have to talk because that isn't necessarily the case. Are you done? Okay, so remember that the whole reason why we go to professionals as human beings, I'm not talking about anything puppy related, I'm just talking about you know going to a tech shop or going to someone who is a professional in a specific service, the whole reason why we do that is to shorten the time it would take for us to figure out what we are doing. So if you go to the supermarket, you're looking for something specific, instead of you can, of course you can, you can walk up and down the aisles and look for that thing that you were looking for, which will probably take you like half an hour to get there, or you can go to someone and ask them specifically where it is. All that they do is they shorten the time it would have taken you to get to that specific thing. So that is why we have to talk about puppy training. There is so many people that I've been talking to the last couple of weeks, even the last couple of months that haven't taken their puppies to puppy training and um, to dog training. And the whole reason why is because people have a misconception of what puppy training actually is. Now, in the bigger scheme of things, if you're someone who just got your puppy and you realize that, oh my goodness, it's not just the perfect behaved dog. He's going through teething. He's biting everything. He's barking at everything. He has resource guarding issues. He has um, separation anxiety. There's just a bunch of different things that he is struggling with. Then listen, you are not alone. And the whole point of puppy training is to address those issues and help prevent them actually from happening in the first place. So if you're someone who maybe already has your puppy at home, you have a dog and he's going through a really, really difficult time, then listen, and it's not too late you can reach out to people professionals that have done this for years and years and years and have so much experience and let them guide you to get your puppy into a state where he's a well-behaved confident puppy and a lot of people think that puppy school is only for you know learning tricks and learning and teaching your dog to do impressive things but that isn't the case okay that that's the first myth that I heard of is people think that it's only to teach your dog to sit and to stand and to do these things but actually there's a whole different story behind it my first experience with the first course that we did with him um, which is his just a basic introductory live course is that I learned more as a puppy parent than what he actually did. I was making notes and, you know, learning everything and studying everything because he behaves in a certain way. And for me to understand that would effectively train him to be a better behaved puppy. So if I understand it better, then I can train him in a different way that is more effective and more time efficient. It takes up less time and gets more results. So at the end of the day, with puppy training, it's for us as puppy parents and not actually so much for the puppy because we need to put in the effort so that our puppies can be well-behaved dogs that um, that knows what is right and what is wrong also for us to prevent other mistakes that might have happened and if you are someone that wants to teach your puppy a couple of tricks and um, have him do a certain thing then the great thing about puppy school is once you understand the basics you can apply that to any kind of trick that you want your puppy to do and that's <laughs> That is how we get our puppy to do all sorts of creative things because we know the basics and we can adapt and adjust accordingly to get them to do what we want them to do. A big shock that I got in the beginning was that puppy training isn't really expensive. It's really, really affordable and almost anyone can afford to. I mean, if you can afford to take care of your puppy in a way of getting him food and getting him, uh, you know, shelter and getting him all of these toys and things, then you can definitely afford to take him to puppy school but you're probably wondering okay well I have my puppy now or I'm getting my puppy soon when should I start looking at puppy training well if you're thinking about getting a puppy get get into the puppy training as soon as possible okay Schmitty can you okay right 
As soon as he's eight weeks old, then definitely look at puppy training because that the period between eight weeks and 16 weeks is probably the most important period because it's known as the socialization period. And another thing is if you are thinking, okay, well, you know, I'm in a small town and there's, there's no puppy schools around here. Well, listen, I was also shocked to see how many different puppy schools there are around me and around my area. So if you go onto Google, you do some research, you can definitely see that there's so many different places that offer training and I'm also uh, the course that we're doing now is also offered online as well so you can register and train your puppy at home because through everything that's happening through the epidemic and everything they have opened up so many doors for puppy training to be able to do that from home At the end of the day the main thing that you want to learn is you want to learn how to effectively train your dog without using any sorts of negatively impact methods and using any sorts of force training. You want to use positive reinforcement. So that is it for today's video, guys. Make sure you guys click on this link because it's going to show you how I crate trained my puppy within a couple of weeks. I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing day.